What's up YouTube and GCB customers? We, uh, I'm going to do a short video today on demonstrating the speed drops of a 802.11 access point or Wi-Fi as most people know it. Um, the access points like you use in your house, you use in your business. One of the things that we're uh, having a lot of customers having issues with is they're trying to do streaming media and uh, several services over a single access point. Um, one of the issues with that is the further you get away from an access point, the weaker the signal gets. The weaker the signal, the less amount of data you can transfer over it. So what we set up today is a small lab. I have actually a commercial uh, ubiquity access point that's sitting on the counter in our shop here. And I'm going to do a speed test right up next to the access point. I'm going to move down through our offices one at a time and uh, eventually try to make a connection on the front of the office. Um, that may or may not work because we have uh, actually issues getting outside the building here. Um, no difference than what you have in a normal home. So uh, you may notice that, that my laptop is going to sustain a good upload connection coming back to the AP. I do have a commercial Wi-Fi card inside of my laptop which uh, does not work in, in most consumer products. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Alright, I got an access point here. This is plugged into a Ubiquiti power supply and that's going back to our <clears throat> main connection in the server room. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new page every time we do a test so we can compare the new test to the old test. All right, we're just going to take the computer and walk right out down the hallway. <clears throat> now you'll see I've dropped approximately one bar off. And uh, we'll go ahead and open a new window. All right, so we've got approximately the same bandwidth, and I don't know, we moved 20-something feet away from the AP. So our first test was 21, our second test was 21. All right, let's, I'm going to go ahead and open a new window now. Take a sit right here in the front office. Now my signal level up there, you can see, is is pretty low. And uh, I don't know, I am uh, probably about 50 feet away from the AP here.
open a new window, and then we're going to go up to the front lobby. Alright, so we're here in the front lobby. Signal strength is approximately the same on the little indicator up here at the top of the screen. And now we're going to go ahead and do that speed test again. I'm just gonna walk across this room. And we're gonna get over here because if I go outside, right outside the door here, I will lose connection. Alright, so I'm going to take care of y'all back in the back and we're going to plug directly into the wire. As you can see, about every 20 feet you move away from the AP, you lose a couple of megs. Um, this gets a, a whole lot worse whenever you get into a crowded environment. Um, right now I got, I got a program on here called LinSSID and that's the, the number of wireless networks that we have around us. Uh, pretty much anything you see in triple digits here is um, 5 gigahertz. In fact, let me. So we have mostly 2 gig networks around us, but if you look, all of these networks are on similar channels. If you have multiple networks around you and you cannot. Uh, you cannot get an independent channel that's not being used. You actually want to go on the exact channel that somebody else is on. Some people, you want to use channels 1, 6, or 11. Some people set their equipment up to use channel 9, and then you're, you're actually stepping on two different APs. If you have two access points that are on the same channel, they will kind of work amongst themselves and try to, you know, fix some type of timing, you know, both transmit from the base station at the same time and it, it fixes that issue. But what we're going to do right now is I'm going to unplug the AP and I'm going to plug the computer directly into the to the wire and we're going to do a speed test plug directly into the wire. So we're just going to hit go. Reset this speed test. Evidently, switching from the Wi Fi to wireless upset it. That is the 
maximum bandwidth of the, the switch that I'm plugged into. So let's recap this. Right up next to the AP we get 21 megs down. About 30 feet from the AP we get 21 megs down. About 60 feet from the AP we get 18 megs down. 70 feet from the AP we get 15 megs down. Plug directly into the wire that's feeding the AP we get 160 megs. Alright so as you can see, the further you get away from the AP, the worse your signal is going to be. A, a, <clears throat> the worse your signal is, the less bandwidth and less data you can transfer. If you have a lot of people around you, if you have uh, other customers with cable connections or DSL connections or HughesNet connections or any, any type of other internet system, uh, printers, if you got Wi-Fi printers, if you have... Um, Chromecast devices that are inside of your network all of these things use 2.4 gigahertz uh, some some cordless phones you'll see um, the the DTEC phones use their own frequency but some actual cordless phones you'll see are 2 gigahertz or uh, you know 5.8 gigahertz both of those cordless phones interfere with your Wi-Fi Bluetooth devices also work on 2.4 gigahertz and will interfere with your Wi-Fi the more devices you have, the harder it is for that device to communicate. If you take this into consideration, if you and I are having a conversation and we're in a quiet room, we can talk at our normal voice. If we both go over to the Cajun Dome during a, a football or any type of sporting event, the, the average level of sound is so high inside of that building that you and I nearly have to yell at each other. This is the same thing with radio devices. The, the more devices they have in an area, the higher, it, it's called the noise floor. The higher the noise floor is, the harder it is for that device to communicate. Your cell phone, you know, has really small antennas in it. The, your cell phone's not going to work as good as a laptop. If you're troubleshooting your network, you always need a known good computer or a known good device to plug directly in and test your wire speed you know as a service provider you know Allen's or Cox or Comcast or AT&T nobody can guarantee the speed of your internal network there there's too many variables we will help you through it we will tell you if there's an issue but you know there, there's gonna take some legwork that's gonna have to be done by you or, or somebody in the family that's a that's a know-how that, that can go and figure out if you have a wireless printer or if you have a, another device that's causing issues on your network um, it, wire speeds always faster if you're gonna stream if you're gonna if your direct TV boxes have have direct TV on demand if you have the dish network hopper if you have Netflix on your TV you're gonna want to try to get a cable ran from that device back to your router it will give you the best performance all right hope you guys enjoy the video and everybody have a good one